Well, I tell you, what a quite a different scene right now from what I saw earlier. When we showed up here about an hour and a half ago to two hours, the home, well, there was a home in front of you right now, but the, the sorry, the wind is blowing in my face, but the flames were really shooting into the sky. And they say it took about 30 minutes for this home to really catch on fire and start burning down to the ground. We spoke to a number of neighbors. They say they first spotted flames coming around, uh, coming from the roof of the home. And then just like that, it was fully engulfed in flames. We talked to the PIO for the Hershey um, Fire Department. They said when they caught, when they got here on scene, that the fire was coming from both sides of the house. They were able to contain that fire. And now what one, once was flames in the sky is now just darkness of where that house used to sit. They still have ladder trucks here trying to put out any hot spots that might still exist here. Um, the big challenge for them, of course, has been this wind. I mean, you can hear it in the microphone. It's pretty incredibly strong. That was a confirmed concern for them because they didn't want any embers like shifting to any homes nearby. A good thing about that is that this home doesn't have a lot of trees immediately surrounding it, so that actually worked to their benefit. So right now, it's just a matter of getting these hot spots out. They say they're going to be here for at least another three hours or so waiting for the marshal to come in and that they hope to have um, a cause of the fire by the end of the week. But I tell you, it was one of the most spectacular fires I've seen in a long, long time. So we will be monitoring this throughout the week. But for now, in Dauphin County, Amber Girard, WGAL News 8.